Hello everybody, this is Ian Lamont from In 30 Minutes Guides. Today I'm going to be talking about how to clear the cache in Firefox for Windows or Mac OS. Typically this happens technical support for some service you're using, for instance your bank or something like that. They will say you need to clear your cache or you need to clear your browser. Notice that cache is spelled C-A-C-H-E, not C-A-S-H. The idea is your cache on your browser on Firefox contains stored images, web files, and data. So these sites that you constantly visit, it doesn't have to always request the data to load from a server somewhere else because it's already stored in the browser. That sometimes causes conflicts. This is how to take care of the issue if you have to clear the cache. Open up Firefox. In the upper right corner, there's a little three lines. This is called a hamburger menu. Just click on that and then select settings. Okay, two ways to find the cache settings. One is to click on privacy and security and scroll down and you'll find it right here. The other way is just to search for cache, and that's probably the easier way to do it. So, cookies and site data. Your stored cookies, site data, and cache are currently using 1.1 gigabytes of disk, disk, disk space. There's a button to clear the data. So, select that. Now, you're gonna get a kind of a scary warning. Clearing all cookies and site data stored by Firefox may sign you out of websites and remove offline web content. Uh, clearing cache data will not affect your logins. That means that if you've saved your password in Firefox, you'll be able to recall it when you visit these websites again, for instance, your bank. Uh, however, if you did not save your password in Firefox, uh, you'll have to be starting basically all over again. You'll have to uh, find your password, you know, wherever you keep a copy of it or from memory, and then enter it. Also, one thing you should know, uh, for instance, here it says cached cached or cached web content, 757 megabytes. If I click clear right now, it's going to take a long time to delete all that stuff because basically your computer has to erase all of it and that's a lot of data. So just be aware that you may not be able to use your computer for a couple minutes or maybe even a longer period of time when you clear your cache. For more information on how to get the most out of technology, we have a series of guides available at in30minutes.com, including books about uh, Google Drive and Docs, crowdfunding, genealogy, Microsoft 365, Dropbox, all kinds of topics. This is Ian Lamont, founder of In 30 Minutes Guides. Thank you so much for watching.